Endochondral ossification begins with hyaline cartilage, which is the pure cartilage base of all bone development. The cartilage grows and the chondrocytes within their lacunae inside of the matrix enlarge, which causes the matrix to calcify. This causes the chondrocytes to die and disintegrate from the lack of nutrients, which in turn leaves holes in the cartilage. Blood vessels then start to grow around the outer edges of the cartilage. The cells of the perichondrium turn into osteoblasts. These two processes together create a bone collar, or periosteum, that is made up of compact bone. This bone collar helps support the bone as it grows and helps it to retain its shape. It is located along the outer edge of the diaphysis in between the two epiphyses. The blood vessels that grew on the outside now form into the central part of the bone through the cavities that were left behind by the death of the chondrocytes. These blood vessels carry fibroblasts with them that turn into osteoblasts, causing the production of the spongy bone at the primary ossification center. This development of bone starts to spread from the diaphysis toward the epiphysis of the former hyaline cartilage. As the bone continues to grow, cell division creates an elongated region known as the medullary cavity, which houses marrow. As the osseous tissue grows and thickens, the cartilage in between the epiphyses and the diaphysis is replaced with bone. This zone of growth is known as the metaphysis. In order to increase the bone's length as well as further development of the bone, osteoblasts migrate into the epiphyses and create secondary ossification centers. Now, the epiphysis can become spongy bone. The metaphysis, also known as the epiphyseal cartilage, will separate the epiphysis from the diaphysis and the osteoblasts will continue to replace the cartilage inside the diaphysis with spongy bone, as well as at the same time and rate, create new cartilage in the epiphyses. Once all of the cartilage is replaced with spongy bone, the epiphyseal cartilage will disappear, leaving a distinct line in its place. The only original hyaline cartilage left on the bone is a thin protective cap to prevent bone-to-bone -bone contact of the joints and is known as articular cartilage. The endochondral ossification process is now complete. Created using Powtoon.